Satnam, I'm Devi here offering a collective message. As always, explore what resonates and disregard the rest. My intention is to support you on your path and encourage you along on your journey of bringing in light on this planet. Let's speak a little bit about prayer and <laughs> I, it's my personal policy. Like I don't hex, curse, do any spell work. That that's just that's just me. Uh, I do pray, so I'm just gonna speak a little bit to that. And the question came to mind, and I proposed it to a group. Is like, what is the ideal template for a prayer to move energy through? And here are just a few points uh, to consider. And again, work with your guide team, your teachers, your masters and those of the highest vibration and purest intention uh, to bring forth light light codes on this planet. So overall, how are you speaking with your guide team? How are you speaking with them? And I think it's important to speak to permission level, like what access will you give your team to work with or work for, or like work on your behalf? Like you have free will. God has granted you free will, which is funny because it's like, why do we humans think we can change other humans? You can't. If your angels, God, <laughs> gives you free will and can't intervene without your permission, what makes you think you can change someone? You can't. You can change yourself. You can change yourself. How you react, respond, and the energy you allow to move through you in a particular scenario, connection, community, program, whatever. Don't. This can go on. So you have free will. So what permission will you give your team? Will you give them full access? Or will you give them permission with a particular scenario? For example, when it, the load gets too heavy... Will you choose to give it to God? Will you give your guide team permission to work on your behalf to protect you, to handle a situation that feels burdensome, that is like energetically draining you? Will you give them permission to protect you and work on your behalf? It's your choice. You have to give them permission because you have free will. What is your intention? What is your intention? And ideally, you're working with the purest intention and the highest vibration for the greatest good, the highest timeline, for the greatest good of all parties involved. And you're part of that. You're part of that. Like you matter. Your energy matters. Your well being matters. Consider your needs in the prayers that you put forth. Sometimes you're working like a first responder, the eyes and ears of God, giving permission of angels to work on the scene here on planet Earth. Because again, they can't step in without permission. And some of you who are brought here to call in prayers for healing for the greatest good. And who are you working with? Who are you working with? And and you have you have direct access. You could go right to God if you want. You can give your burdens to God. You can talk right to him. He's listening. He hears you. And this is part of your spiritual work. It's not like um God's going to ignore you. I mean, if it's like who your masters are, who your galactic council is, uh, who your guide team is, who your masters are that you call in, who you're calling in is part of your spiritual work. You have to align with, ascend to, vibrate with those particular masters, archangels, the guide team, energies. Like It's up to you to do that work, to align to them and learn how to access them, call them in, 
right? That's your spiritual work, right? And it's kind of like on the work to, for in the workforce, like you don't have to like have the skill set, you don't have to have the knowledge, but your team does, and your team has that. So you have to build your team. That's your work, um, and your team will honor your needs and protect you if you give the situation to God because it's too much, like that ten of wands energy. You give it to God or. Give them full access and permission. You've got to step out the way and let them do the work because you've called them in. Think first responder. You've called 911 and said, hey, <laughs> I need help. You step out the way. Y'all enablers kind of get in the way and kind of make it messy. But no, you've got to get out the way once you call, call in the guards and you call in your masters, okay? They're there to protect and help you. You're working on multiple dimensions and many realities. They are there to assist you. Call in your dragons. It's kind of like that's part of your team. You might have a particular dragon you call in to support you. Um, you might have particular archangels you can call in in different scenarios. It's up to you. Again, that's your spiritual work to build your team and learn who and how to call them in. And again, I do not believe in hexing, cursing, <laughs> any of that. But don't be surprised when you give them access and ask for protection. When you surrender and call in for help, what happens next? <laughs> They've got a unique way you moving energy along and making change and it can be uncomfortable but you've got to step out the way and let them do that and just trust trust that they're there trust the changes that unfold trust the changes that unfold when you call in for support again you have free will and uh, be mindful not to worry. Oh, well there you go and the Ten of Cups. Sovereignty. Probably want to speak to... Sovereignty makes sense to speak to at this moment. Your happiness matters. Because when you're vibrating at a higher frequency, when you feel overburdened, you can't do God's work. You can't. Because you can't see. You're like... You're burdened. There's a heavy load on your back. So when you give that up to God, you, you have more energy to do the work that you're brought here to do and the energy of joy and happiness moves a lot quicker than that stagnant energy of depression of I don't even want to speak to anger because sometimes anger can move things along in a positive way <laughs> um, but not always um And sometimes I feel like when they push through some anger through you and you're like, damn, I, I can't believe that came out of my mouth. <laughs> sometimes that's you, that's you being a channel <laughs> and them pushing through energy. Uh, ideally, you're vibrating at a frequency of joy and love and laughter. That energy, you can think of like fairies, like that light fairy energy, but... You know, sometimes fairies can be a little mischievous, so I'd be mindful there. Um, again, you just have to be mindful of who you're working with and how, and your intention behind what you're calling in. But overall, you want to work with love and joy, bringing in peace, bottom deck energies, queen of swords, and that is knowing how to use your words with positive intent. So discernment and the mental body and communicating effectively for the greatest good of all the the queen of swords knows how to nurture those in her kingdom the next bottom deck energy is the king of cups he, he doesn't micromanage uh the court uh, he uses the emotional intelligence within him and the observations like the like what he's picking up from the emotional body through him and those in his court to make the the best decision like he 
knows how to put his emotions aside for the greatest good. So the, this is a good combination when we're speaking to um, intention. Okay. And, and what happens before the rainbow? Sometimes it's the storm, right? Sometimes it's the rain. Next bottom deck energy. Like, don't hold back. Don't hold it in. This is that, like, give it to God energy. Like, if you're holding back out of fear, if you're afraid what will happen next, that sort of thing, or you're like, you just want to keep carrying this load and be like, be a martyr. Like, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing us on this planet a disservice. Next bottom deck energy, and I'll stop here, is the world. You can think of the world as your oyster, and you can also think of the completion cycle of things. So not to hold back on calling up for support, to put an end to the cycle and open new doors for you. It is happening through you and it is very easy to get burdened on this planet and with the dense energies learn through the emotional body discern effectively using emotional intelligence so not to let the emotions get the best of you but learn through them no different than sensations in the body not to let the thoughts and the mental body get the best of you, but speak with purpose and pure intent for the greatest good of all. And that includes you and your sovereignty and your joy and happiness on this planet. I do hope this served well. Sending lots of love and light your way. Said none.